Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So that's what that is. Here it is. It's our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton. Um, archival cotton watercolor paper. There are 10 sheets in here, and I cannot remember how much it is. I'm guessing it's about 8 bucks, 7 bucks, something like that. Anyway, so my piece is cut to 3 and 3 quarters by 5. A foam mat. Hello, Jackie from Florida. Okay, so here's my card, or my piece of watercolor paper. So I'm using Versamark, and I'm going to use the Gather Together stamp set. This is a carryover stamp set from last year's holiday catalog, and I am so excited they kept it because I love this set. I have an online class that I did last year using this, and it's amazing. It's still available. You can still purchase that from me. So we are going to use the large leaf stamp to do this first part of the project here. And so I'm going to ink this up in Versamark. And my theory on Versamark inking is you ink it up and when you think you have enough ink on it, add some more. Because you literally can't have enough. And then we're just gonna set this about right there, press it. And then I've got some white Stampin' Emboss powder here just going to sprinkle that all over. Okay. You can see I've already got that done. So that's what it would look like with the embossing powder on it. Then I would heat set it. Here we go. It's going to get loud. Watercolor paper does take a little longer for the uh, powder to melt because it's thicker. So the thicker the surface you're putting embossing powder on, the longer it will take to melt because the uh, this paper has to get hot first in order for the powder to melt. Okay, so that's what we have. Whoops, I'll get that away. So here we have, and I already did this. So I have four of them on here. Okay, you can see there's four of them on there. So we are going to remove the uh, pad here. We're going to put this stuff somewhere else. And we're going to do a bit of watercoloring. That's what's going to have to dry. So we've got our new water painters here. So I'm going to use the big one and the medium one, which is that one. And we're going to kind of do a watercolor wash and then a little bit of detailed work. So I've got three colors here. I've got Pretty Peacock, and I'm going to squeeze that together to get some ink in there. And I'm going to squeeze this one. This is my Misty Moonlight. <laughs> yeah, Sue, I know. I was thinking about that as I was blowing that. I thought, oh gosh, am I going to blow that all over the place? <laughs> Surprised it didn't happen because as you guys all know when you watch me, that's the kind of stuff that happens to me all the flipping time. Okay, so I need to get my towel. This is an old dishcloth. And so this is our the large one. So I'm going to do a kind of a watercolor wash. So I'm going to squeeze some water down into the bristles of the brush. And get a little bit in the tray here where my misty moonlight is. Okay, and then I'm just going to, kind of on the diagonal, brush that all over. And you can see where my embossing powder is, of course, it resists the ink. A little bit darker than that. Okay. All right. And then we're going to squeeze the pen onto my little cloth here, clean it off. Okay. And now we're going to do some more water. We're going to put that in the pretty peacock tray. So I'm going to pick up some of that. And I'm going to do it on the diagonal on this end here. Maybe a little darker. Okay, clean that off again. Just squeeze it, touch it to the rag. Get all that ink off there. And now we're going to go for our Just Jade. Put a little water in the tray there. Swirl in the Just Jade. And we're going to cross across the center here. And if they blend together on the edges, that's totally fine. We aren't looking for perfection here especially with barb stamping. There's literally no such thing. 
Okay, so we've got the watercolor wash done. So I'm going to clean my brush. And then I'm going to bring in my other pen. Come on, get off there. There we go. Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze that a little bit, get some water flowing into this. And now I'm going to pick up, I want it to be a little darker even still. And I'm going to color in the leaves so that they're just a tad darker than the background around them. I have no idea if this is some special technique. I have no idea. But I'm not going to cross over. So you can see how this leaf actually goes into the green also. I'm going to use the Just Jade for those leaves, for those parts of the leaves. Okay. So this is what we need to have dry. So we're going to finish this part of it and then we're going to set it aside to dry and we'll finish it up. Probably be the last thing we do. Okay. So we're going to squeeze the water out of that. Cause I kind of wanted the leaves to pop a little bit more than they do. You know what I mean? Just being, um, that might be a little much. There we go. And I'm kind of hurrying sometime, you know, I guess if I was actually doing this not live, I might be a little more careful, but honestly, it's, it's not going to make any difference. It's going to be fine. Uh, whether you take, you know, 20 minutes to color it or five because it's watercolor and it is what it is. So again, we're not going over the, the line here. We're just going to keep the green in the green area. So just let's a little bit darker on the leaves okay go back over here and then we're going to clean the brush squeeze it out this actually this towel is like super absorbent it's really old um i think i got them from my mom she i don't know back in the day people used to actually like embroider on these towels uh, maybe people still do. I don't know. I'm not really sure if embroidery is um, kind of a lost art, maybe. And it's sad if it is. But I remember my grandmother had embroidered a lot of stuff. I mean, alive, some wall hangings, some gorgeous, gorgeous wall hangings that she did. Um, my mom wasn't really an embroiderer, but I remember years and years ago, I don't even know how old I was. I was pretty small. Uh, my mom had a friend who would do kind of like a... I don't know if it was applique kind of thing on these dish towels where it was like she would paint like little figurines, like little children. Like one of the little children would be like, you know, doing laundry or something, you know, with a washboard. One of them would be like in the kitchen baking and she would like paint that onto these towels. And I just have this memory. I have no idea what she did with them. I don't know if she sold them, if she gave them to friends, if she used them herself. I have literally no idea. I can just remember being in her house and her painting dish towels because dish towels, when I was growing up, dish towels were a big thing. These cotton flower sacks is what they were actually made out of back when flour came in bags. Um, maybe I'm dating myself. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So that is what we've got so far. So I'm going to set this aside and let this dry. Oh, actually, I think it feels pretty dry. So you can see when they dry, they kind of curl, but I just do this. And you know, I need to check my finger because sometimes um, the ink will not stick to the embossing. So um, sometimes you may have to wipe that off, but it looks like it's good. So I'm just kind of, you know, like curling ribbon or something like that. So now I'm going to trim this down because I think it's actually bigger than I thought it was. That's not going to work though. I need a different trimmer. Because I want it to be four and three quarters by three and a half. And this is five. So I'm going to trim an eighth of an inch off each end here to make that three, four and three quarters. Okay. And then this I want to be three and a half. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. Okay, three and a half right there. Okay, so then I need my supplies for that. So is that the right size for this? Eh, it's a little long. I'm going to cut it to like four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. 
Okay, that should fit on there a little bit better. Yay. All right, and then we're going to end up sticking it on our pretty peacock. So let me get these bits out of here. Okay, so I'm going to add this with the uh, seal. And I'm actually going to go all the way around it because it's embossed. And so when you emboss something, it wants to stay curled up. And I did not get that very close to the edge. So if you just add a little bit more adhesive, it's a little bit better. But now I'm going to have to be careful so that I don't screw it up. Because um, that would be a lot of adhesive I'd have to try to, you know, get through. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer says she loves this. Thank you. Okay, then, guys, I did use the Gathered Leaves dies. These are, uh, they are coordinating with the Come Together stamp set, or Gather Together, excuse me, coordinates with that. So you can see we have the die cut for the big leaf, and then we have these um, embossed leaves that I'm going to run one through, and I'll show you how cool it is. And then we have these little pumpkins, okay? So let me grab the old... Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. So I'm going to use one of these. Oh, gosh, sorry. I didn't mean to, like, bump the entire uh, thing there. We're going to use this maple leaf. And we're going to cut that out of Pretty Peacock. So, again, we have our platform. We need to use platform one, which we have here. If you guys can hope I got that in the, in the view. We also need a, pla a pad two, which we have. And then we have a cutting pad three. Then we have our paper and our die. And this die is actually an embossing and cutting die at the same time. So it's super cool. All right. It's a little tighter when it's going through. And let me show you how amazing that is. All right. Now, one thing about this die, it doesn't have any, like, release holes. So I just throw it on the table and then it comes out. So can you see all the detail in there? So flipping cool. So I do have some other ones that I did die cut and my piece of white um, earlier. So I have the Misty Moonlight one and the Just Jade. So I've got three leaves here, okay? And then I have a strip of white and it measures, dun 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 dun, because I can't remember, one and a quarter. Oh, uh, this is three and a quarter. The length doesn't really matter because we're going to snip it off, so it's actually too long. But we're going to use our banner triple punch to trim that when we get to that point. So I need my sentiment. My sentiment here comes out of a stamp set that's been around for a little while called Country Home. And the sentiment is so grateful for someone like you in my life. So I just really like that sentiment. I think that could, you know, you could use that with anyone, honestly, you know, your kids, your parents, a cousins, just, you know, a friend, anyone you could give this to. So we're going to use Misty Moonlight. Or no, this is Pretty Peacock. I didn't want to use that. Well, we're using it because I don't have my Stampin' Chammy here. Okay. Let's hold our breath and see if we can get it straight on here. I need to look and see. Wait a minute. If I line that up with the line on the grid paper, then maybe I can do this. Pretty good. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be happy about it. Okay. So then um, I'm going to snip off this end here. So I'm going to slip, flip that over and slide that in. And this is another one of those punches that can do different size pieces. Okay, so this uh, punch can also do various layers, but this is an in-between. So I'm in between. So this one here is one, this is one and a half, and this is two. But my paper is one and a quarter. So that's why when I flip it over, I'm going to look... And I'm going to back it up against the back of the punch. And I'm just going to make sure that it's like equal distance on both sides, which it appeared that it was. Okay. And then I am, well, am I going to cut that off or not? Let's just see what I need to do here. So I want to put this, this is how that's going to go. So I want this to be on my card, but I want it to hang off this main layer just a little bit. I just think that looks kind of cool. And then I was just going to surround the end here um, with my leaves. Something like that, maybe? Or do I want my just jade in the middle? And then the other one's kind of around it. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use some dimensionals again. So I'm going to grab some minis here. Okay. Oh, hold on. I have to glue this down first. Hee <laughs> hee. Wouldn't that be funny? I put my little leaves on, and who knows where this piece would be. Okay, so that... Actually, I should just glue this down, too. 
Then I won't have any issues. Okay. And we are doing good on time. My other meeting has started, but I will join it as soon as we're done. Okay. There. Now we can put our sentiment piece on it again. Like I said, I want it to hang off just a little bit because I just think that looks kind of cool. Like that. Okay. And then our first leaf, we're going to like kind of put like so. Actually, I stuck that one underneath. Where did I put my... Here it is. No, that's not going to work. This is going to have to go over here. And this one will have to go up here. Actually, I'm going to trim this off a little bit because it's not going to fit. That should work, shouldn't it? Yeah, we're going to use some seal on that. And then we're just going to pop that down. I'll grab another dimensional for this little guy. And there. Okay. So let me bring in the projects that we made tonight. So we have this amazing watercolored card with a dimensional backing on it. We have this super cute little Halloween treat box. And then we have this uh, beautiful card using the beautiful autumn stamp set. So remember, um, order with me at shoppingwithbarb.com. I appreciate your orders and they help me continue to provide you with all this free, amazing content and give you all my tips and tricks that I know over my 17 years of stamping because I got a lot of them, you guys. And that's it. And I hope you have a great week and thank you so much.